Hey guys, welcome to my basement. Here I've got my Pentium 1 computer with uh, a fresh installation of DOS 6.22 and today I thought it would be interesting to do a fresh installation of Windows 95. I got a boot disk here that I made up for this and Got the installation disk here. Microsoft Windows 95 for distribution with a new PC only. Gonna start this up. We have a we have a dead battery, but that shouldn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and start the installation here. You're looking good so far. You can hear the CD drive spinning up, but it brings me to an A prompt. So it assigned the drive the letter R for some reason. I think that might be because I've already assigned a drive D into DOS. I, I don't know, but either way, let's go to R and run setup. Setup is now going to perform a routine check on your system. Beautiful. Does the mouse work? Beautiful. All right. Let's uh, fix the brightness here a little. All right. Welcome to the Windows 95 setup. Congratulations on your choice of Windows 95, the newest and easiest way to do what you want with your PC. I'm excited. Setup will take 30 to 60 minutes. We'll see about that. Now this is running on all original hardware. I don't have any uh, flash drives, no uh, flash memory, anything like that installed in here. This is... Uh, I think the newest hardware I have installed in here is the CD drive, and that is, as far as I can tell, just a generic brand CD-ROM drive from the late 90s, early 2000s. Either way, this computer is meant to emulate one that I would have used when I was around, you know, a young tyke, three to four years old, and I was first introduced to computers. This wouldn't have been new when I was that age, but it was available um, like my mom had these in the basement and could set them up for me to play games on them if I wanted to and I did and I think Windows 95 is the uh, first bit of software that I used so collecting information yeah don't want to do anything different just want a standard Windows 95 installation this is a Pentium 1, so this should be, f like, ideal. F like, a, a Pentium 1 and Windows 95 are f a fairly good match for each other, I think. Um, we don't have a 3D accelerator card. I'll do custom, just so I can make sure I see what we're doing here. Now, hang on a second. I need to find my CD key. Beautiful. I was half afraid that wouldn't work. Uh, my name, don't know that, alright, do you want setup to look for all hardware devices, so this is the first in instance of plug and play in Windows, now at this time it was more, more well known as plug and pray, uh, as we may see here in a moment. We'll see what it finds. I'm not certain it's going to find the uh, sound card because it is it's a sound slash it's a sound card slash modem card all in one. So it might have a it might be a little confused by that. Um, let's just say sound card. Listen to that hard drive purr. 
they just they just don't sound like that anymore and I wish they did even if they just played that sound through a little speaker I don't know man no, nothing beats the sound of original hardware I like my computers to be noisy it's thinking man I guess it's true that the last percent always takes the longest. We have a 500 megabyte hard drive. Ballin', I know. Um, so we, we, we can be fairly liberal here, but I don't want everything. Um, we, we want the multimedia. Um, we can install networking and stuff later if we ever need it, but I don't see myself hooking this up to a network anytime soon. Uh, although I would like to get that wireless, um, the, 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 the serial wireless modem that LGR showed off on his channel a while ago. That would be pretty sweet, although I'm not sure they make those anymore. This seems like a fairly limited run kind of thing. Um, we'll install this stuff later. Yeah, accessories, details, yeah, we want that calculator. Um, we want the games, we, we want the game, seems fine. I was hoping to take more off than put on there, but whatever. This compression tools, I don't really think I'm going to be using disk compression. We'll install it if we need it. But that's like, that's a good megabyte saved. Alright. I mean... Sounds fine to me. We don't have any network stuff. Primary network logo, yeah. I don't think I need to worry about any of that faff. Um... Seems right. Yeah. All right. And now we settle in for the long haul. I'm so happy I can install this off of a CD-ROM and not off of floppies. I don't know how many people would have actually installed this off of floppies, but I've seen it done. But that's that's like, gosh. So that's Windows 3.1. Right there. Windows 95 is about... at least. So much easier to just have it on a disc. A spinning disc. No. An optical spinning disc. Yes. Plug and play. Yes. It's that easy. Alright, now all we have to do is restart our computer and it should finish the setup for us. Right. All, all disks from floppy drives. So we can leave the CD in there, but got to make sure we take the floppy drive disk out before we restart. I love that sound. And that sound. Okay. Now we're not going to have any sound. Um, I doubt we're going to have any working sound drivers. And I haven't got speakers set up right now anyway. Um, so let's just see what we got ourselves into. 
Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a little excited. Alright, now Windows 95 is detecting any plug-and-play hardware we have. I doubt we have any, but it's been a while since I've gone through all this with this machine, so I guess we just gotta go through the motions. I really love this bitmap. It's not picking up the blue as well as it as it looks in real life. It's a lot more blue than this looks. It's not like her time zone really matters, but yeah, sure, whatever. It's not like it's... I, I, I don't have a battery, man. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't have a printer. All right, and I think we're almost done. Look at that. Uh, it's been a while, old friend. It's beautiful clouds. There has never been a better splash screen than the Windows 95 splash screen. It's just the best. Welcome to Windows 95. Ah, look at this. Alright, now we still have a couple things left to do, like installing the sound drivers and all that, but I think right now I need to go charge my camera, so we'll be back. But just to make sure everything works, we're just going to... Open up our games real quick. Start a quick game of Minesweeper. I've never been particularly good at this. One. Two. Bomb. I don't know how to play this game. I mean, you can explain it to me, but I'm not going to listen. I don't care. <laughs> I just click. Oh, oh, now this is just rude. There's a there's gonna be a bomb there. And there's no bomb there. And there's a bomb there. And there's no bomb there. And there is a bomb there. No bomb there. No bomb there. No bomb there. Damn it! I was actually doing pretty good for a second. Alright, we'll be back. Set up our sound card driver. And hopefully we can get some classic games started, yes. Alright, so we got Windows installed, but we only have the PC speaker and we want better sound. So we're going to have to install a sound driver or something. Now the sound card that I have in here right now is, I think it's a Boca Research uh, Sound Expression 1440. Um, now I can't find a whole lot of information about this card, but I did manage to find a driver disk. So we're just going to put that in right now. I really need to label my disks. I have labels. I just don't do it. Okay, so I, I don't know if I can install this from within Windows, but we'll see. Just put Doom back. Okay. And 
and with this disk, Windows should be able to install it with its plug-and-play features. So, let's let it do its thing. Excuse my sniffles, the basement has become rather stuffy. Alright, so it detected a sound blaster. Um, but hopefully I get this working without any problems. Now, for some reason, it keeps trying to get from drive R. I don't know what's going on with that. Probably screwed something up like always. But uh, let's just see what it does with this. Yeah, we'll leave that as is, I suppose. I don't know if this is going to mess anything up in the future, but... Maybe it'll get it right. Let's see. Let's restart and hope nothing got messed up. I'm not hearing anything. You hear that? I can hear the CD drive. Yeah, something's not right here. Alright, so I went into Device Manager and I took out those um, recent changes. We're going to restart and try to add the driver manually. Alright, add new hardware. No, we want to do this manually. So we we want I uh what was it? Multifunction adapter. Have disk. It's in drive A. Okay. I think it does fine. Yeah, see there it found it. Boker Research Sound Expression. SC1440. Next. That's what we want. See? Plug and play. My ass. Although, to be fair, this sound card... I, I don't think it was designed to work in Windows 95. I think it was designed for Windows 3.1. Um, but... To, to be honest with you, it's the only sound card I have that'll work with these computers. I don't have a sound blaster. 
Um, I mean, I have an Audigy, but it's a little bit too new for this computer, I think. I don't even think this has a PCI slot. Well, no, it's got, I don't know what it's got. <laughs> there we go. I am a computer master. Okay, so we got the sound card working. Let's check to see if the settings are all fine. Um, I think that all looks good. Uh, yeah, we want the OPL synth because we do have a genuine OPL3 chip on this sound card, which is why I'm, I'm not complaining about having to use it. It's, it's not a bad sound card. I know we've got the ding. Ding. No ding. Let's see how Doom fares. We're going to have to set it up for our sound card. Uh, music card. We're going to want to pick ad lib, I think. Or sound. No, we'll, we're going to want to pick Sound Blaster. Oh, we'll pick port 220. I think that should work. That's pretty standard. I didn't change any of this. <laughs> I'm kind of flying on the seat of my pants here. Uh, sound Blaster. We'll start with five. Number of sound effects mix. We'll just do three for now. See if that works. Sound effects work and the music works. Although the sound effects are very loud. <laughs> I'm good with this. See? Yeah. We got some decent sound for our DOS games. Yeah, listen to that it's OPL3 chip. Ah, uh, shit! Uh, yeah, this is a pretty typical glitch I've noticed on this card. And it's only on this level. The music will stop playing right at this point. And sometimes it'll crash the game. Sometimes it'll crash the whole computer. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, but it's only for this level, and it doesn't do it anywhere else, which, I mean, I'm thankful for, but I would really love to know what the reasoning is for that. Because it's really frustrating, because I want to hear the rest of E1M1, man. This song rocks. But, whatever. We'll move on. Sheesh, sheesh. It's really hard to play on this old keyboard, too, because it's just so mushy. I don't have, like, a Model M or anything like that. It's, um... It's not membrane, but the switches are just awful. There's no, there's no travel, and there's no click to it. So is I, I don't know. I can't feel what I'm doing. It feels really mushy. But and here we go. We got our music back, and it's only level one or E1 M1 that does that. Why? I don't know.
<laughs> well, there you go. We have sound. Beautiful. So that means we can play some games. Now, when I was a kid, I didn't have Doom. I didn't have Quake or any of those games that, you know, kids were really into back then. The game, the, the game that I spent a lot of time playing was, uh, well, something along the lines of this. <laughs> My boy Sam. So we're going to try to get Pajama Sam working. This is You Are What You Eat from Your Head to Your Feet. One of my favorite Windows 95 games. Because let's face it, back when I was around... Oh. Now, uh, Sam ain't looking too right. Might not come over to noticeable on camera, but I think I want to take a quick look at my display settings here. Um, we got six. Let's go to 256 color. That might be better. And we'll keep it at, well, no, we'll go 800 by 600. I don't know if Pajama Sam can support this, but I don't want to restart right now. Oh, fine. <laughs> See, kids, this was the reality of computing back in the day. You couldn't change your resolution on the fly. You couldn't change your colors, color depth, on the fly like you can now. You have to friggin' restart. But I mean, it's worth it. Although now I have to change my friggin' shutter speed again. Alright, so. Let's play some Pajama Sam, shall we? Friggin' Eulas. I don't want to register. But thanks. I'm sure you'll find that it's it's quite good. You'll be impressed. Humongous entertainment. Not so fast, evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. You're telling me. Just gets assaulted by an army of cookies. <laughs> I guess my memory serves me better than I, I, I give myself credit for. Yeah. And we've come to an abrupt halt so we can find a cape. Back in the era when games just Games just did things when you click on things. So much, so much charm. Yeah, dude. Where did I put that cake? Don't know. Where the hell would you have put it? I don't see it back here. I, I did. Okay. Gee, stuck on the first screen. What about in the drawer? You hooligan. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello? Somebody there? Nobody here but us potatoes. We got some strange stuff going on here. I mean... <laughs> okay. It's in the brownies. Ah, 
I'm feeling that in a few hours. Yep. Just ghosted. Alright. I wonder if it bothers the food that I'm eating food. Yeah, I feel you there, bud. It's almost my dinner time, and I wouldn't want to spoil it. I think you just did, dude, but... My mom made all that broccoli. <gasps> An affront to the Lord! Freaking Cheeto. Yeah. What did he say? Jail! Jail! Jail. Tell it to the fudge. Now, if you'll excuse me, got to get back to the party. Ha. Tell it to the fudge. I gotta get out of here. Tell it to the fudge. Ha. Are you a political prisoner, too? Yes, I'm a, I'm a political prisoner seeking asylum. Um. Frig it, I'll, I'll find my own way out. Yeah. You, well, you're screwing around, so... Maybe this will come in handy. I think we can use it to get the key, man. It's almost like I've played this a million times as a, as a child. I wish that key wasn't so high up. Alright, maybe I didn't play this as many times as I thought. How about one of these things? Yeah, dude. Maybe I deserve a reward. Man, stop eating! Stop! You're going to get a tummy ache. I'm supposed to be at the peace conference with the other delegates. Peace conference. Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam. This is a child's game. Why are there neurons everywhere? What what are these neurons doing here? Are we in Sam's brain? Are we in Sam's imagination? Is that what's going on? All right, well, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, even though... We didn't really do that much. We played some Pajama Sam, put on a sound driver, installed Windows 95. So, I think in the next video, we're going to take a look at a couple games that I've been wanting to take a look at. I'm not sure if they're completely compatible with Windows 95, but hopefully we can get them working. We'll see. Maybe. And if not, we've got a couple other games we could try. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, um, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Good night, good day, goodbye, wherever you are. Peace out, y'all.